several hundred years ago, the citizens of Sweden felt that their new governments weren't responsive to them as citizens in their municipalities. And working through uh, their city councils, decided to establish a new position called an ombudsman, a voice of the people, someone that could be an advocate for people who didn't have a voice when municipalities and governing bodies were not responsive to those individuals. Move forward several hundred years to 2001, DePaul University decided to open the office of University Ombudsperson, a first-time effort to adopt a classical organizational ombuds role to help with conflict resolution in DePaul University. My name is Craig Moosen. I'm the first University Ombudsperson at DePaul University and have helped develop the office here as one of the many options employees and faculty have for resolving disputes, for working through disputes, and for looking for the best solutions that provide mutual gain to individuals caught up in conflict. An ombudsperson is a neutral, independent, and confidential employee. It's a unique position in a university. It's sort of like an electron floating around the university. It's in the university, it's part of the university, but it's not part of the normal management structures. Its independence and neutrality provides people a place for a safe haven to come and discuss and question and brainstorm resolution of issues. Those issues might be personal. I'm having a difficult time with a colleague in the office next door to me who plays music too loud or is, has visitors that make too much noise or ignores me. Um, it might be institutional that department chairs or supervisors are following policies that might be contrary or at least perceived as contrary to what our policy manuals have. It might be institutional in terms of how tenure is decided or promotion for faculty positions. The ombudsperson has no authority to actually make decisions or resolve disputes. Part of the neutrality and independence is that it's a third party neutral that helps the other parties in the situations resolve disputes. Often an individual will come and meet with the ombudsperson confidentially. We keep no records, we keep no files, we report none of our conversations to anyone in the institution. Confidentiality, we hope, encourages individuals to really explore what problems are causing the disputes. From that point, the ombuds may encourage the individual to be a better advocate for themselves by offering the many options we have at the institution for different ways of resolving disputes. We do have a formal grievance procedure. We have an internal audit office. We have a compliance office. We have a diversity office that includes investigators who explore whether the institution or individuals in the institution have violated federal, state, or city laws of legal, legally protected categories. We have human resources professionals who deal with procedures involved in the human resources office. For every individual, there might be a different resolution of a particular issue. For some individuals, an apology may be all that is needed or wanted uh, to remedy a perceived slight or a challenge to one's dignity as a person in the DePaul community. For others, legal resolution might be the issue, or internally through our grievance procedure or faculty handbook procedures or working with department chairs or supervisors. Um, thus, I work frequently with individuals. I work with groups of individuals. I offer mediation services. I'm a trained mediator and therefore can mediate between two individuals. Employment mediation offers certain challenges because often there is a perceived power imbalance that is more than perceived. That The reality is a supervisor and an employee have different roles in the institution. Nonetheless, a third party neutral, like an ombuds, can offer a safe place to have a discussion that might not take place without that third party neutral. To prevent conflict, or at least to encourage ways of exploring how we work together, I also offer training on how parties negotiate in institutions like DePaul, 
how individuals can present their ideas uh, that um, might cause conflict if perceived in the wrong way, but if approached in a way that explores the advantages and contributions of each party might lead to greater resources for the individuals and the institution. So I've done training on difficult conversations, done training on mediation techniques, negotiation techniques, how individuals can work with their supervisors. Uh, we've done training sessions on bullying and what happens in a workplace where individuals violate Paul's mission of ennobling the God-given dignity of every individual through bullying or perceived bullying. And that's part of the issue, too, talking out the issue to find out whether the issue indeed is a conflict or a perception of a conflict. And often working with individuals can narrow down what the cause or the problem might be. Again, we're an independent, neutral, confidential office. Each of those is important, and we strive to pre present all of those in an informal way, and, and that is uh, the ombudsperson will not decide who is at fault. Uh, that's not our role. Uh, I have no uh, authority in making policy for the institution or in voting on procedures or policies. Uh, I can talk to individuals and offer examples of resources that might help influence decisions, but uh, the ombuds cannot be affiliated with any decision or policy. That goes to the independence and the neutrality.